Hi everyone! Because you guys really liked my last video where I talked about um, some book recommendations based on some popular books, I thought that today I might talk about uh, some recommendations I have if you really enjoyed Sayaka Murata's Convenience Store Woman. Now, like most people, this was my first introduction to Sayaka Murata. I believe this was her first book translated into English from the Japanese, and it was a huge success, followed by um, another of her backlist, Earthlings, and then recently, Life Ceremony, a short story collection. So you may have been introduced to her work, and, you know, Sayaka Murata's work deals a lot with um, ideas of individuals not fitting into society. It's a character study of both the individual who is a little bit different, who refuses to fit into this narrow box, but also the society in which they inhabit. So if you really like those themes, if you really like that kind of book, here are some recommendations I might have if you really enjoyed this one. The obvious jump, of course, is to read her other books. I have Earthlings, which is like Convenience Store Woman, but a little bit more psych psychotic. It's like Convenience Store Woman on crack. But this is really good. Um, I have not read Life Ceremony, which is her short story collection. I will, I would really like to pick that up soon though. So keeping in East Asia, a book that really made me think of Convenience Store Woman is not in Japan, but in Korea, and that is Kim Jae Young, Born 1982. This is a very similar uh, kind of premise. This is about Kim Jae Young, Born 1982. It is a uh, character study about her life, her parents, her grandparents, and all the ways in which misogyny in South Korea have shaped her to be the particular kind of person she is and kind of have a psychotic break. So it's really, really interesting. If you don't know a lot about Korean culture and specifically the kind of misogyny that goes on in Korea, uh, it's really, really interesting. Nice short book, just like Convenience Store Woman. I think if you really enjoy the parts of Convenience Store Woman that talk about um, what it's like to be a woman in Japan, you'll really like this book about what it's like to be a woman in modern day Korea. So I really recommend this. I actually read this on ebook, but ended up buying a physical copy because I enjoyed it so much so I could have it on my bookshelf. Another book that I actually just recently spoke about is Catherine Lacey's Pew. Now this book is a little bit harder to find, but if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it because I was extremely impressed by this. Like Convenience Store Woman, this was recommended to me by Jen Campbell, and I think maybe a couple of other um, booktube creators on YouTube. Um, this is really a book about not being able to categorize someone into a specific box based on the society in which they live. It's about a person that a small religious town finds on a church pew who they call pew. The problem is they can't, they don't know what the gender of this person is, they don't know their race or their age. And so they're having such a hard time assimilating them into society because they just don't know what to do with them and what role to assign them. And so it has a lot of parallels in that way to convenience store women about fitting in, not fitting in. In this book, it's really not about Pew, it's about the people around Pew who just don't know what to do and end up vilifying someone who they just can't understand. It's again, not a very long book. I read it all in one sitting. I was so impressed. The writing is really interesting. And because Pew doesn't really speak, uh, it's kind of like the town people and the people around them, people that come to adopt them, that really speak for Pew. And it's a really interesting book about mob mentality, about small town religion, about religious trauma, and uh, generally about the ways in which we try to label people against their own will. So, highly recommend this. Here we have a book that has some different parallels to Convenience Store Woman, but I really enjoyed this book. And again, extremely small book. This is Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. This was the first book of Sarah Moss that I read, and this is, still remains my favorite book of hers. This is about a young woman who goes with her family and a couple of students to pretend to be in the Iron Age and ancient Britons in Northern England. So they're like secluded from society. They're only using tools and food and uh, generally trying to live as like a social experiment the life of ancient Britons in the Iron Age. Um, and it has a similar vibe to Convenience Store Woman in the sense that there's this kind of building tension because there's a tension between the modern and the ancient. There's a little bit of cult mentality that builds from this kind of fun little like university experiment to kind of turning people a little bit nuts. It reminded me of Convenience Store Woman in the way that it uh, showed how kind of the rigid rules of society can turn into like kind of cult-like behaviors. And it's a really interesting book. The tension builds and builds and builds. Kind of like Soraka Murata's other work, Earthlings, it comes to an absolutely insane culminating point, not to spoil anything. This reminded me a lot of like a British, like British nationalist counterpart to Convenience Store Woman. So highly recommend this. 
Really, really short book, easy to read in one sitting. Next book I wanna recommend is also a book recommended by Jen Campbell and is The Faster I Walk, The Smaller I Am by Kirsty A. Scumsvold. I think I'm saying that right. I don't speak Norwegian, so excuse however I butchered that. Um, but this really reminded me of Camina Storm Woman. This is about a really strange main character woman who has a hard time relating to society and kind of the human experience. She goes on these long walks. She's contemplating death. It's not a very plot driven book. It's definitely a character study. Um, but in the same way that Convenience Star Woman is. So if you're not necessarily someone who needs to be driven by an adrenaline-packed punch, an adrenaline-packed plot, uh, this is definitely the book for you. And if you also want to be kind of intrigued, but also comforted by someone who may not fit uh, so neatly into society, I really, re I really recommend this. The last book I want to recommend is kind of the childlike version of Convenience Store Woman. So it's Max Porter's Lanny. Now this I think was not long listed for the um, Booker Prize, I believe. Um, Max Porter is a really incredible writer. His other book, Grief is a Thing with Feathers, is also incredible. And as you can see, it's kind of written a little bit uh, in kind of free verse. It's not, it doesn't have, you know, kind of really strict rules about um, novel writing and a very traditional structure. It's about this young boy named Lanny who has a, a different connection to the world and it's also narrated by the town we have all these different voices of the town uh speaking all the different posters around all the different pamphlets around and the voice of the town kind of has its own narration um it's a little bit hard to explain when landing goes missing which is not really a spoiler because it happens relatively early on in the book it really uh sheds a light on how society reacts to missing children missing children who are a little bit different and pointing fingers and uh, wanting to assign blame. It's strange, it's wonderful, and if you love Convenience Store Woman, I guarantee that you will love Lanny as well. I hope that helped you guys. I hope that you found some good recommendations for some books that you might like if you like Soyaka Murata's Convenience Store Woman. And I hope to see you soon. Bye!